Torah TV. The world is thinking. So what, how does Donors Choose work? You, you could think of it as a philanthropic eBay where uh, public school teachers post classroom project requests and then donors can come and, and choose the classroom project which really speaks to them personally and, and make a gift of as little as, as $1 to the very project that, that inspires them and, and see how, uh, how every dollar is spent and, and hear back from the classroom in photographs of the project taking place, a thank you note from the teacher, a results letter uh, from the teacher after the project has completed, uh, and a cost report uh, showing how their money was spent. And what sort of projects are they? Uh, I'll give you one, one anecdote. Uh, this uh, writer for Fortune magazine was once doing a story on uh, Kiva and DonorsChoose.org uh, uh, together as, as sort of two philanthropic marketplaces which might uh, shake up philanthropy. And the writer, when we were done talking, said that his uh, personal passion was saving the salmon in the Pacific Northwest, and he therefore would not be making a contribution through DonorsChoose.org because he was all about salmon. And um, so, but before you left the room, I, I did a keyword search for salmon on donorschoose.org, and up came five classroom project requests centering on saving the salmon in the Pacific Northwest. The, the second result was um, an Oregon high school teacher who had created a salmon hatchery in the river flowing by his school, and he needed uh, hip waders for his students to go in the river and maintain the salmon hatchery. And then the top result for this keyword search was uh, a teacher on an island off of Alaska who wrote in her project essay that she was 45 minutes away from the nearest store by airplane. And all of her students are native Alaskans and they had recorded their uh, parents' folk tales about salmon and done research on salmon, wanted to share that work with the outside world and for that they needed a printer and a scanner. So that was sort of a, a long-winded uh, way to illustrate the, the variety of classroom projects on our site and the ability for a citizen philanthropist to express a really personal passion or community, or topic, or favorite book, or favorite author, and actually find classroom project requests matching their passion. Great, and you've also, um, I mean, one of the reasons we've got the cards tonight is that you've got partnerships with um, some big philanthropists, but also some companies to, to sort of really change how corporate philanthropy works as well. Just talk briefly about that. For sure. Well, we've seen a number of companies give uh, DonorsChoose.org giving cards, philanthropic gift certificates to their customers, to employees. And um, I'll mention one of our board members, our, our coolest board member, Stephen Colbert. And he gives a, <laughs> he gives a, a $100 DonorsChoose.org gift certificate to everybody who goes on to his show. So um, tonight, we're, we're giving each of you the, the same gift that Stephen Colbert gives to each of his guests.